everyone. Um, so a couple of days ago uh, was my birthday, and I kind of wanted this thing, so I asked for it because my wife bothers me and asks me what I want for my birthday instead of just guessing, which is fine. Um, let's see, how do I open this without destroying the box? Do I care about destroying the box? A little bit, yes. We won't destroy the box. Not entirely, anyway. But, uh, oops, more tape. When I was a kid, I had uh, a yellow line for the, for the old series. And I always wanted the whole set. And then I saw this at Target, and I was... I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit excited. You know, get the whole set. Oh, instructions. Wow. Let's see if I can do it without instructions. Okay. Okay. I know I'm probably driving some of you crazy by going slow, but I am trying to keep the packaging intact, so if I decide to put it back in here, I can. These are just annoying little tabs. I give up. I'm going to avoid using my knife. But these are extremely annoying little tabs. It has a plastic bra. Because all toys should come with plastic bras. Right, first impressions, the joints are very, very stiff. Which I imagine is probably a good thing. Black line. <laughs> this video is probably going to be annoyingly long. For me, anyway. For you guys, it's going to be short. Hmm. Maybe I do need the instructions. I don't remember who gets that. Okay, and my favorite of the lions is now freed. Green lion. And that's a bit wobbly. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or... Or what? It's just a little bit wobbly. I mean, these guys are going to be on display and not played with, so... They're probably not going to be played with. So, that being a little wobbly is fine. And I bet... The process of elimination... Because this one has a hole... Hmm. Doesn't want to go in there. Oh, there it goes. And I bet that goes on there. Stands in a very weird posture. I can't tell if it looks like it's ready to pounce or be mounted from behind. That's a really weird posture. That has to be something to do with it. I, I just gotta be a better way to do that. Okay, now it stands on its toes. At least it's not weirdly postured anymore. Moving on. I don't like this, but I can't get at it from the other side. Oh good, I didn't scratch it. Red line is free. Yeah. This is weird now, because like red line doesn't have the problems with some of the joints being loose that like green line had. But red line has different joints that are loose. So that makes sense. So, but at least red lion doesn't look like it's about to be mounted from behind. Okay, yellow lion. And this one, I actually quite like the construction of. It's loose so enough so you can articulate everything, but it's not it's not super loose, but it's not super tight. Like, black lion's joints are really tight, green lion's got a mixture, red lion's got a mixture. This one's all reasonable. Blue lion. And again, the joints like, like yellow lion are fairly good, they're not super bad. The jaw's a little loose, but not enough to actually be a problem. Anyway, I'm going to go pretend that I'm not going to read the instructions to put it together, and then I'll be right back. 
Okay, I know they've got some limitations when designing this, but like I guess that's a really unfortunate place to have that peg. Really, really unfortunate placement for that peg. Okay, so... I just, I cannot seem to get him to stand properly. I'm not really sure if I'm doing something wrong or what. Um, these guys don't really seem to attach well at... Oh, there we go. Wait a minute. I got frustrated. Didn't care if I broke it. <laughs> okay, I cannot get yellow line to snap into place like I assume it's supposed to. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I got both of them to snap into place, but the issue becomes he, he just don't stand. So... The Fender of the Universe makes a crappy toy. Um... Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, he's really unstable. Difficult to uh, force to stand the... I think it's just... I think Black Lion needs wider hips, is the problem. Yeah, yeah that's... Black Lion needs wider hips. He needs ghetto hips. But, um... Aside from that... He's pretty cool, although he's definitely going to be uh, displayed as the separate lions and not like this. I do not like this at all. He's too unstable. And we didn't use the instructions for the whole thing. What are you talking about? You didn't see that, because I'm going to cut that out. Yeah, because if I get him to stand flat on yellow lion, then blue lion's completely off the ground. If I get him to stand flat on blue lion, yellow lion's completely off the ground. And if I try to force him on both, he just doesn't. He doesn't stand on both. And, yeah. For a display piece, a dynamic pose like this, where he's not trying to stand flat, I'm sure that could be really cool, because he, he is articulated fairly well, considering it's a bunch of Transformer Lions. But, um, I think, uh, if your goal, like me, is display, you're better off getting one that's, uh, just comes as Voltron. I know that there's one about this same size that doesn't come apart. And I think you're better off with that. But if you wanted to display the lines separately, obviously you'd need this one. But uh, overall I'd say uh, I'm pretty meh about it. It's cool. I like it. But like I'm, there are quite a few times where like I knew it was supposed to fold and that was why I kept going, but I was convinced it was about to break. He is fairly weighty, though, because a lot of his parts are metal, but, like, a lot of his parts aren't. Like, to call this a die-cast metal figure, I think, is a little generous. I would call it a hybrid die-cast metal figure. just cannot seem to get it into a natural pose. And I think it's these awkward ass feet. Now the seated Voltron works. I mean, you pose him better, but having him sit seems to look okay. Yeah. Anyway, he's pretty cool, but I'm gonna take him apart and put him back in the box for now, and then when I get my shelf, I'm going to display him as the lions individually. Not like this.
Anyway, thanks for watching.